सेव किया था ना मैं सिर्फ इसलिए गया था क्योंकि उसने मुझे कॉल किया दैट्स इट बट लिसन तो सेव इट फॉर समवन एल्स जिंदगी में सेव करना जरूरी है मगर जब बात पैसों की हो सिर्फ सेविंग से काम नहीं चलेगा इक्विटी म्यूचुअल फंड्स में इन्वेस्ट कीजिए और अपने सेविंग्स को आगे बढ़ने का मौका दीजिए म्यूचुअल फंड इन्वेस्टमेंट्स आर सब्जेक्ट टू मार्केट रिस्क रीड ऑल स्कीम रिलेटेड डॉक्यूमेंट्स केयरफुली As humans, we talk to our pet companions all the time. We talk to dogs, we talk to cats, we talk to horses, and we do it all the time when we see them. When we do talk to them, however, we use a different tone compared to how we speak with other adult humans. We talk to pet animals in registers and tones and pitches that are similar to what we use when we talk to babies or infants. Talking to babies and infants in that particular tone is called infant directed speech and we use a similar tone when talking to pets. This is called pet directed speech. Now even within pet directed speech not all animals are spoken to the same. We talk differently to cats than we do with dogs. With dogs we humans tend to raise our pitches much more and dogs also respond more to high pitched sounds. This is not so much with cats. Humans don't generally raise their pitch so much when they're interacting with cats. And with puppies it's even more. We raise our pitches even more than we do with adult dogs. All of this has been studied to a reasonable extent especially in dogs. How dogs respond to dog directed speech is well understood by now and there have been ample studies on this. But how cats respond to cat directed speech has not been studied so much. In general, we haven't had many studies looking into cat behavior as much as dog behavior because cats are generally perceived to be less social and also cats do get extremely uncomfortable when taken out of their comfortable home environment. Additionally, cats also form a very different type of bond with their human. And I'm saying human in singular because unlike dogs, cats form strong bonds with one particular human. This kind of relationship is a cat human dyad typically or a pair. As a part of a larger study to understand cats, French scientists have now conducted experiments to see if a companion cat understands when the cat is being spoken to. The findings are unsurprising especially for cat owners, but they do provide more scientific basis to human cat interactions. Dogs can bond with multiple humans quickly and are also less uncomfortable when taken to new surroundings. But cats not so much. Many studies have shown that cats of course prefer to be at home in their familiar environment. This is known to everyone who's interacted with cats, but cats also bond to one human strongly. This human cat relationship is a very strong one to one relationship. they have one reference human or one bonded human that they are closest to and more often than not this human actually tends to be a woman cats bond better with adult women than they do with adult men or people of other genders or with children this is what studies have shown this of course isn't the case so with dogs who can bond with all humans and sometimes even strangers which isn't really observed in cats Dogs however understand better when people are talking to them even when strangers talk to dogs in dog directed speech the high pitch baby talk with exaggerated articulation and short repetitive sounds dogs can pick it up when strangers do it although of course they do show preference for their own human companions they understand it more what about cats Turns out cats do too but it's much narrower than it's with dogs and it's in fact a bit more interesting. This study was conducted in France as a part of a larger project to understand cat human interactions and this particular study's primary objective was to figure out if cats are more responsive to cat directed speech than adult directed speech or basically if cats can understand that they are being spoken to. The researchers also wanted to know if cats can distinguish when their human is talking to them versus when other strangers are talking to the cats. Thus the focus of this experiment was on human cat pairs or dyads. This experiment was conducted with 16 cats all of whom belonged to veterinary students at the National Veterinary School of Alfort near Paris. 
All the felines were indoor cats. 12 of them were single cats living with a female owner, while four were a part of a pair of cats that were living with heterosexual couples. Except for one male cat in the experiment, all cats were neutered or spayed, and they were all aged between 8 and 24 months. Now, to keep the cats comfortable and react naturally, the experiment was conducted in their own homes. The experiment basically had to decide whether cats could recognize stranger voices versus their own human voices and if they can recognize cat-directed speech. So, the team recorded human voices during direct human-to-cat interactions with owners and they also recorded strangers saying the same phrases in the same tone. These monitored interactions with humans fell into four categories, which are the actions of play, treat, separation when a cat and human move away from each other, and reunion when a human comes back to the cat. These humans were asked to use specific keywords and sentences during each of these interactions. These were sentences like, do you want to play? Do you want to treat? See you later. And how are you when being reunited? And of course, all of them in French. And the owners, as well as strangers, also said the cat's names. These recordings of the owners and the strangers saying these things were then played back to the cats in the presence of their owners and their reactions were observed. How this was done is through a popular animal behavioral study protocol. This is done in bursts of five sounds. An unfamiliar recording is played thrice, a familiar one the fourth time, and then the unfamiliar one again the fifth time. To find out if cats respond to cat-directed speech or adult-directed speech, in the experiment, the researchers played back the owner's adult-directed speech recordings thrice, followed by the same speech in cat-directed tones, and then once more in adult-directed speech. As expected, the cats promptly responded to their owner's cat-directed speech and immediately grew disinterested towards adult-directed speech, or when the humans were talking, as if they were talking to other humans. The experiment then had strangers call out a cat's name three times in a row, followed by the owner doing so, and then the stranger again. The same protocol was repeated for those familiar commands and speech during the four conditions of play, treat, separation and reunion. The conclusion of this experiment is that every time cats showed interest or responded to their own owners' voices but not to strangers' voices even when cat-directed speech was used. Cats also responded to their owner's cat-directed speech rather than adult-directed speech and the experimenters conclude that basically cats can tell when their human is talking to them and can distinguish that from when their owners are talking to other adults. And when it comes to people that the cats are not used to, they cannot recognize cat-directed speech. The findings of this study are interesting and highlight a specific communication style that has evolved between a cat and a single human and this type of communication relies and builds on experience over the cat's lifetime. Such kind of communication that is improved over experience provides further evidence that cats tend to form strong one-to-one -one relationships with humans. Infant-directed speech and pet-directed speech registers have many similarities, including elevated pitch, increased variation in pitch, more repetition of sounds, shorter words and commands, and increased articulation of these sounds. These features stand out from typical adult-directed speech or casual communication between adults, and when directed at companion animals, this is called caregiver speech. Caregiver speech or pet-directed speech varies depending on the receiver. Humans often increase pitch when talking to puppies more than adult dogs, and in general when talking to dogs more than cats. And these are behaviors that happen subconsciously as humans gauge animals' response to different kinds of speech. The new study reinforces many others that have suggested that cats are capable of forming very close bonds with humans, even though it was previously thought that cats were independent and ungrateful creatures, as the authors of this study say. This is especially in comparison with dogs where we tend to think that dogs are more pet-like and cats are more indifferent.
Studies have shown that cats become very bonded to individual humans, especially women, and they can distinguish their own names. And in fact, cats are so social with humans that many cats prefer human company over food and toys and treats. These findings are just some of the newest basic ones into our furry companions. This study, as mentioned before, is a part of a bigger project into understanding cats and increasingly there are more and more studies now being conducted into human-cat relationships. In the immediate future, we can now expect more and more studies into cat and cat-human bonds coming out very soon.